If you are trying to get you a CDL, get it before February. They are changing the rules and regulations for getting a CDL. So if you're trying to get one, get one now. And you can drive anything. You don't got to drive a tractor trailer. You can drive a straight truck. I drive a straight truck. You can drive a charter bus, a school bus, a transit bus. You can drive all kind of things. Being a CDL driver is like being a doctor or a lawyer. They'll always need you somewhere for something. Just make sure you get all your endorsements, doubles, triples, combinations, tanker, hazmat, twig card, um, passenger school bus, get an M on your license for motorcycle, get the uh, chauffeur license. I'm just saying, getting a CDL is probably one of the better things you can do in your life because, I mean, getting a CDL is like nothing else in this world. And you always going to be making money some kind of way. And plus, you can treat, you can like teach a uh, safety class, all kind of stuff. You don't just have to drive a truck. Do it before February. What's good, everybody, and welcome back to the Lockout Man Podcast Show. Thank you very much for joining me this evening. I like to thank everybody for supporting the channel, subbing to the channel, and all that other good stuff that we provide over here on the Lockout Men channel. Well, as 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 of now, you guys already know. If you don't know, and if you've been up under a rock all this time, you know that the FMCSA. New rules for getting your CDLs goes into the effect next month, February 7th. Now, I know a lot of you guys been coming on Facebook, coming on TikTok, coming on all these social media, running to the people asking the question, hey, what's going to change? What's that's going to do for me? What if I already got my CDLs? What, 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 what? what? Y'all got so many questions, so many, it just boggles the mind and then we have a whole bunch of us drivers out here just giving uh information prior from what they probably know not to say that nobody you know nobody don't know but you know if you want to know y'all come over here to the lockout man podcast show because what i do i go in deep into the tank if you guys don't know what that is, that's a poker term, all right? I go deep in the tank for you guys. And as this young lady says, you know, she she gave her, you know, opinion. If you are trying to get you a CDL, get it before February. They are changing the rules and regulations for getting a CDL. So if you're trying to get one, get one now. And you can drive anything. You don't got to drive a tractor trailer. You can drive a straight truck. I drive a straight truck. You can drive a charter bus, a school bus, a transit bus. You can drive all kind of things. Well, without further ado, let's just jump into this episode right here. So what I did, I, you know, it was a lot of comments on her page that kind of kind of had me scratching my, my head and i i thought i'd just do a reply to the comments over here but before i get into that we're going to see what the new fmcsa eldt mandate and what it's all about what is the eldt mandate well it is a set of new minimum requirements for entry-level driver training set by the federal motor carrier safety administration the fmcsa these requirements will be set at the federal law level and all cdl training providers must abide by them meaning that you can't go to your mom and pop training school and get your cdls no more just saying with these higher standards all entry-level drivers will be fully trained to the federal standards before taking to the road more fully trained drivers means fewer accidents caused by new truck drivers and higher safety standards on the road which means that these fly by night training on the fly truck driving schools truck driving people truck driving coordinators can't hook you up no more 
You literally have to go to a truck driving school that is fully accredited and is a part of the FMCSA's new rule. What does this mean, right? What does this mean? All CDL training providers will have to apply and be approved by the FMCSA in order to provide training after February 7th, 2022. The FMCSA will list approved training centers on their training provided registry. You should complete CDL training at a school on this list. So first thing first, if you're interested in getting your CDLs, you have to jump on the training provide uh, provider registry to see which accredited school that you can go to to get your training. Students will need to complete format training consistent of classroom training and behind the wheel training on the range and on the road. This training will cover approximately 30 subjects in which students must show proficiency and score at least 80% on the assessment. Before a student can take their CDL exam, their training provider must certify them as a proficient in CDL skills curriculum and have the documentation of how many behind the wheel curriculum hours they completed. Who will it affect? Well, the ELDT mandate will affect those getting their CDLs, upgrading from their class B to their class A CDL, adding hazmat, adding passenger, adding school bus endorsements for the first time. So for those of us that has our CDLs already, when we came out of school, we kind of forego the, you know, the endorsements, hazmat, passenger, and so forth and so on. Now, for us that has foregoed it, we have to, uh, we have to oblige by the new mandate as well. If you already hold a CDL or have an endorsement before February 7th, these requirements does not apply to you. All right. So if you already have your endorsements, cool. You, it, this don't apply. But if you don't have your endorsements and you're planning on getting them, then, yeah, you, you have to oblige by the new mandate. All right. When will this take effect? And this is the million dollar question. All these new requirements will take effect February 7th, 2020. Man, what I'm doing here, trying to edit this and figure out, I'm saying February 7th, 2020. It's February 7th, 2022, damn it. Midnight, February 7th, 2020. Again, February 7th, 2022. The regulations was delayed, but now the ELD mandate will take effect February 7th, 2020. All right, one last time. February 7th, 2022. It's important to complete your CDL training at a facility that has high standards in order to keep the roads safe. The ELD mandate will ensure that this is true for all approved training centers. Let's sit down for, uh, for a quick Q&A, shall we? All right, so question. I hold a CDL that is issued before February 7, 2020. What if I apply for an upgrade to a higher class CDL on or after February 7, 2020? Well, you must complete the required entry level driver training for a class of CDL to which you are upgrading to before you will before you will be permitted to take the CDL skills test. All right, my CLP was issued before February 7, 2020. Okay, you are not 
required to complete the entry level driving training as long as you obtain your C D L before the C L P or the renewed C L P expires. All right. I hold a CDL that was issued before February 7th. What if I apply for an S, P, or H endorsement for the first time on or after February 7th? Well, dear driver, you must complete the required entry-level driver training for endorsements. For which you are applying for, you will be permitted to take the S, or the P skills test or the H knowledge test, which means now for the passenger and for the school bus, you literally have to go back to school for, but for your hazmat where you used to just go in and take the hazmat test, you won't be able to do that no more. You actually have to go back to school to take the hazmat requirement test at a school and then you can have that added on to your license, all right? What if I obtain my CLP after February 7th, 2022? Well, dear driver, you must complete the required entry-level driver training before you will be permitted to take the CDL skills test or the school bus or the passenger or the hazmat knowledge test. All right. I was issued a CDL before February 7th, 2022, right? You, driver, are not required to complete the entry-level driver training to obtain a CDL, even if previously, previously issued CDL, has since lapsed. So let's say, for example, you you already had your CDL and you just want to you you just want to re up your CDL or get your new CDL. You driver is not required to take the new mandated test. You so lucky. I was issued a S P or H, meaning school bus passenger or hazmat endorsements before February 7th, 2022. Well, dear driver, again, you are not required to complete the entry level driver training for previously issued endorsements, even since they lapsed. So if you had, if you since had your endorsements, you lucky dear driver, you still get, you still don't have to go through the mandated program. I was issued a CLP before February 7th, 2022, but the CLP expired before I applied for my new CDL. Well, you must complete the required entry level driving training before you will be permitted taking the CDL test. So there you have it. Questions and answers. Hopefully I answered them for you. Questions, some, you know, some uh, frequently asked questions. So there you have it. Hopefully you could take this. It will work out for you and answer the questions that you have. Before we get on up out of here, I want to jump back on to this young lady's uh, TikTok and go through some of the comments that was made. CNR says... They changing the rules because many of many brothers and sisters making that money, everybody showing what they got and telling how much money they're making. <sighs> Look, I understand that there's a lot of people, a lot of drivers, a lot of new drivers, and a lot of you guys on TikTok that just love to come on here and just show your statements, show how much money you getting and all like that. I just think y'all just say and do and and do way too much on the internet just you know just you know just move in silence you know what i'm saying just build your wealth quietly people all over the world don't need to know what you're doing or what you're making man 
All you got to do is just keep that quiet. Miss V says, every time we enhance in any area, there's always change. The rules just to slow us down and keep us out. <sighs> you know, I, I don't think the rules was changed because of us. I don't think the rules has anything to do with us. And what I and I guess what she mean by us, I mean, I guess she mean by people of color. I, I don't think the rules was made because, you know, they're trying to slow people of color down from getting their CDLs. This is more so than a safety standard than anything. The change is a certified instructor from the DMV, not someone that drives for a company school. There will be better drivers and less accidents alike. I agree. I agree. It, it, especially with the new drivers that's coming into play as young as 18. Hopefully they will get better trained and, you know, better prepared for coming out on these roads because these roads ain't no joke, man. You know, these new drivers, these new 18 year olds, especially in in these times. With all the distractions out there, I don't think they're gonna. I don't think they're gonna be mentally able to handle all of this, you know. But again, with the proper training, and and maybe hopefully they can get into this and and do the damn thing and do what they need to do to properly uh, handle this eighteen wheel truck. Now here's a question that I'm not even sure because I wasn't able I wasn't even able to find any additional information but I'm just going to say my opinion and just for you to do your you know to do your studies on it is there any fee or any additional fee for your endorsements what I I knew that going to get you know at the time when I got my tankers I knew I had to pay a little bit extra for it but i'm i'm assuming you're gonna have to pay extra for your s and your p now i'm not sure if it's gonna be much or less and yeah you you always have to pay for your endorsements because you have to get your fingerprints and additional paperwork which i think costs about a hundred dollars all right that's gonna do it i i hope uh, the information that I provided for you guys today bring you some type of value. And if it does, make sure you hit that like button. It does work. It helps. And it does the body good. Make sure you share this information to all potential drivers that's thinking about coming into the industry because they're going to need to know this. It's not just going to be able to pick up a phone and say, can I come to your truck driving school and get my license anymore? There's none of that no more. You have to go to the FMCSA website. You got to see what type of schools that's available in your area. They must be accredited in order to train you. And also, before I get out of here, know that it's going to cost a little bit more, okay? It's going to cost a little bit more. Usually truck driving school starts anywhere from like four to five to six thousand dollars. Now, with the new mandate and everything that the schools have to do to get ready, that cost is going to fall back on you. So definitely find out how much is going to be. See if they have uh type of financial aids for you see if there's some government assistance for you and if you have that good credit card see if that works out for you until next time everybody y'all take it easy and this is lockout man and i'm out if you are trying to get you a cdl get it before february they are changing the rules and regulations for getting a CDL. So if you're trying to get one, get one now. And you can drive anything. You don't got to drive a tractor trailer. You can drive a straight truck. I drive a straight truck. You can drive a charter bus, a school bus, a transit bus. You can drive all kind of things.